All right, good morning. We have a backup mic just in case things get a little weird. Good morning, Allie. Well, as we gather this morning, let me see if my belt pack will be okay for us uh, for this part here. All right. Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? And can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Can you do what I do just like this? Well, good morning, Ali. Any children joining from home as well? We keep lighting one more candle each week, and that's what I love about Advent in the season of Advent. As we wait, each week we're learning to be patient, and we're being patient for a very special day. Do you know what day is in two weeks from now, Ali? It's 14 days away. It's a while. It might be hard to know, but it's actually going to be Christmas in just two weeks. Now, that's exciting for children. might be scary to those trying to figure out the Christmas plans and otherwise. But, and each week, as we light these four different candles, I've been teaching us how we can remember what each candle means just by using our four fingers and nothing else, okay? So remember, we're going to do this together. Are you ready, Allie? So let's see if we can do all four fingers together, okay? So the first candle, and I bet, Allie, by the end of the month, you're going to have these memorized, right? The first candle reminds us Jesus is the one we hope for. Can we do it together? Jesus is the one we hope for. And then we're going to do two fingers for the second one. Do you remember what the second one is? Jesus brings us peace, that's right. Last week, we talked about peace where we lit, lit the second candle. And I taught us a little bit of a catchy phrase to remember this by remembering how we could say, no Jesus, no peace. No Jesus, no peace. And actually, it reminds us that actually through knowing Jesus, we have peace. Well, we're coming to our third week today. For our third candle, we're going to say we have Jesus is the one who we hope for. Jesus brings us peace. And for week number three, we say Jesus brings us. And there's three-letter word. Let's see here. It begins with a J. I don't know how you're spelling it, so it's okay. And it has an O. And the last letter is a Y, which is Jesus brings us joy. So each third week, we remember easily because there's three letters uh, for the word joy. And what does joy mean to us this Christmas? Is that when we think about all that God has planned in sending Jesus to us at Christmas, the one response we all have is joy. Finally, we've been waiting for this long-awaited Savior to the whole world. And so we see this actually in the Bible when the angel comes to visit um, Mary and Joseph and tell them and tell the shepherds what exactly is going to happen. This is what is told in the Bible. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news. It will bring great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. Now, joy is an interesting thing. Ali, if I gave you a wonderful Christmas present, you might think, oh, this brings me great joy. But it might only bring you joy and no one else. And if someone got me a present, it might bring me a lot of joy and no one else. What it says here in the Bible is the angel says there's going to be joy for every single person, for all the people. And that's very special about Christmas. And understanding what Jesus came to do for us is that brings all of us joy together. Okay, so next week, we're going to do the fourth candle, but we remember today, Jesus is the one we hope for. Jesus brings us peace, and Jesus brings us joy. So let's pray together here. Dear God, thank you that every year as Christmas comes, we celebrate with joy. You have come to be our Savior and to save us from all our sins. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, thanks, Ali. Next, we will have our scripture lessons.